Wednesday. She looked at me and was like, uh, no, it's Tuesday. So anyway, uh, that's awesome. Um, I, uh, have a busy day today. Tuesdays are normally like my <coughs> light day as far as scheduling. I like to leave, uh, my schedule open to be able to, um, visit properties, uh, meet with different people throughout the company. Um, I try and do something at least twice a week where I walk through our building and just have a conversation with people. What's up, Wayne? Good morning. And I thought today would be something uh, cool for me to talk about, uh, a little off the typical investment topic or team building topic or life lessons topic um, that I find myself uh, talking about so often. And I think it's a <clears throat> something a lot of people don't know that's available and it's the ability to be able to buy a house with absolutely no money down. And there's a couple ways to be able to do that. And it's really specific to the type of financing that you qualify for. But it also has to do with how to structure an offer when you make an offer on a property to have the seller, the seller of the property cover your closing cost. So here's how it starts. Good morning, Sam. Uh, Justin Mao, good morning. How are you? <clears throat> so there are two financing programs that offer 100% financing. It's USDA, that's rural housing. So in uh, our area, USDA would mean like Dallas Town, um, sections of Dallas Town, Red Lion, Spring Grove, um, southern part of the county, Shrewsbury, um, you know, uh, Stewartstown, Glen Rock, areas like that. Um, you can go, there's a, a map. Um, if you just Google USDA, um, you can go and they'll find a map. You can type in the address of the property to see that it's, it qualifies. Um, and then you also would need to be approved for USDA financing. Uh, they have a little different requirements than FHA. Uh, they have a little different requirements than conventional. And they also have an income maximum. So if you make over, I'm not sure the exact number, but it's roughly about 75,000, um, 80,000 maybe total per household, uh, you would not qualify. So it's designed for um, people with you know median income. So um, you know their thought process is if you make $100,000 a year, um, we wouldn't want you to take advantage of the no money down program. So USDA financing, you need to apply and get approved for that type loan. Um, which will obviously factor in your credit score and uh, you know your income and also your debt to income ratio. <clears throat> they will only allow up to a certain percentage of the money you have coming in. And then when you factor in the, the new house payment, only so much of that can be going out. Um, but if you talk to a, uh, you know, a local lender, they can, can walk you through that. But you wanna apply for a USDA loan. The other loan program that offers 100% financing is VA. <clears throat> so pretty simple to you know to know if you may qualify for VA would be the fact that you you need to have um, you know prior military service and, and qualify for VA. And um, so those are the two programs that offer 100% financing. Um, so you need to apply with a local lender. Um, let them know that you know you have interest in, in one of those two programs, and they can tell you whether or not you qualify uh, for the loan. VA, you can you can purchase a property anywhere. There's no restrictions on the location. USDA it needs to be in a rural area. Um, there's a map right on the internet that you can look up. That USDA allows you to plug in the address, and they'll tell you if it's qualified or not. So if you're looking to be in say central York suburban West York school districts a USDA loan would not work for you. VA, if you qualify, they don't have any restrictions on location. You can get a VA loan in any school district that you want. So here's the next part. Once you get approved for those loan programs, you still have closing costs. Closing costs are the upfront um, escrows for taxes, any lender fees, transfer tax, um, any bank origination fees, it's normally on average between five to 6% of the purchase price. So let's say on a $150,000 home, there's about 6%, let's say $9,000 in closing cost. 
So even if you have a USDA loan that will give you 100% of the purchase price, you would still technically need to bring $9,000 down to buy that property and that would just cover your closing costs. So you would still finance 150, you'd put $9,000 down so you wouldn't reduce your loan amount, you would simply cover the closing costs. Sorry, I got a phone call there. Next, so how do you get by? So how do I, okay, Eric, so how do I do no money down if you're telling me I need to pay my closing costs? So there's something called seller's assistance. So on a USDA and VA loan, they will allow the seller to pay up to 6% of your closing cost. So here's how a normal deal would look. If you're making an offer on a $150,000 property, you would make the seller an offer at $150,000. So technically you're giving them their full asking price, but the concession would be that you would ask them to pay 6% of your closing cost or $9,000. Um, they may or may not take that. It depends if you're in a multiple offer situation, depends if the seller has enough equity. Um, maybe they owe, you know, too much on the property that they can't give you that discount, or maybe they're just not willing to, to part with $9,000. So the other alternative is you can add the seller's help on top of the purchase price. So now your offer would look like this. The property's listed for $150,000. You would offer the seller $159,000, then ask them to pay $9,000 towards your closing cost. You've essentially now <clears throat> brought no money to the table. The seller paid your closing cost and they still were able to get the price that they were asking for the property. So if you're working with an agent or you're, you're, you're looking to make an offer on a property and there's maybe say multiple offers, there's more than, than one you know, person than, that, that's making an offer, um, a lot of times the seller's assistance um, can be an issue. Um, if you offer full price but ask for closing cost assistance, you're really not offering full price. That $9,000 in, in closing costs that the seller's paying for you is no different than asking for a $9,000 discount. So you just need to be aware of that. I see a lot of people that say, well, we offered the seller full price and they didn't take our offer. And then I'll ask a few questions and they're like, well, yeah, but you know, we needed $12,000 in seller sell. Well, the reality is that you weren't paying them full price. You were offering them $12,000 less than what they'd like to get for the property. So <clears throat> if you structure the offer that way, you're gonna get a lot less resistance from sellers. It's great if you can get them to agree to pay that closing cost out of the asking price, but the reality is, is if you're competing with other buyers, if the seller has only maybe had the property on the market for a few days, um, whatever the reason might be, when you ask for that concession, it's really a discount. You're asking the seller to give up 6% of the purchase price in the form of seller's help. That lowers their net proceeds by 6%. So that's how you can buy a house with no money down. Qualify for one of the two loans that offer 100% financing. When you negotiate your deal, you're gonna wanna ask the seller to pay up to 6% of your closing costs. That should leave you with absolutely no money down out of your pocket. That means you can move into a $200,000 home and absolutely put no money down. No, no, you might have to pay for an appraisal for $500 and a home inspection for $350 if you choose to do that. Um, but oftentimes, especially the appraisal, can be rolled into your closing cost, which means you would put no money down. USDA, VA financing, negotiate closing cost into seller's assistance, getting the seller to pay your closing cost. You may need to add it on top of the price. It's very common practice. Um, just discuss it with your <clears throat> agent to make sure that the, the property will appraise for that amount. And then you're off running. Um, no reason why you can't uh, make an offer, add the seller's help on top. The seller will gladly pay that for you because they're now getting full price and you get a loan with no money down. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope this information was helpful. I'll see y'all later.